Light Test. I'm Josh, this is Josh. Hi. And today we have a rare beast. A rare beast indeed. This is the Quad Shot from Transition Robotics. Four motors. These guys uh, used uh, kickstarter.com to fund uh, this project here. Yeah, and this and is the first time we've ever got a Kickstarter project yeah. delivered to us, so thank you guys. Uh, anyway, this thing is crazy. Crazy. Because it flies like a helicopter, and it flies like a wing. And it flies like in acro mode, like something we don't even know what to call it. And you can change, you can transition from one to the other in mid-flight. Yes, and it's all controlled, stabilized, unless you're in acro mode, in which case it's just sky's the limits. Insanity. It's a beast. It's crazy. Oh, it's the quad shot. Uh, there's a lot of technology in this, and we didn't grow to appreciate it until after we got to, to experience flying it for a little while. There's a lot of technology and a lot of ingenuity at the same time Okay, put in this thing. First of all, we got these tiny little 24 gram motors. It seems like they'd be really small. And, and it flies off of a three cell 2200 battery. But there's uh, four of them. There's four of them, and that equals some crazy, I mean, it's a rocket ship. Yeah. When you go out of, uh, uh, off the ground and, and you hit the throttle hard, the thing is just straight as an arrow into the air. Uh, amazing power, and the uh, board that controls it is, is actually the Lisa Paparazzi. Paparazzi. It's a work of art. I've never seen anything like it. This comes pre-flash. You don't need to pull out your uh, computer for any of it. You don't have That's to hook program. up. No programming. Yep. It, it's all ready to go and drop in there. Uh, and I think David put this together. I think he had roughly about four hours build time into it. So when you think of something this big and, and, and complicated, that's not that bad. Okay. You know, that, that's that's a, an evening really. So there it is, the, the Lisa Paparazzi, and then on the top here is where your battery goes. Nice. And the only thing bad I can say is all these wires going on, it's, it's kind of a challenge once you get this 2200 in there to get all the wires fit. tucked in. Yeah. And uh, we actually ended up putting a little piece of tape on this because it is kind of under pressure okay. uh, sometimes. So I strongly recommend to make sure you keep your hatch. Maybe lose a little piece of tape on there. Now on the top here, you can also see there's a lot of these LEDs. Mm -hmm. And that's not just for orientation. That is a communication system they have. Oh, um, for like communicating with aliens? No. Okay. The board is ready, calibrated, ready to take off. Oh, nice. It also gives you little battery indicators, which is a, a real helpful thing when you're flying. Uh, as far as the construction of this, though, it's, it's pretty awesome. The motors are uh, fastened with cotter pins. Oh, you can pull them out? Yeah, you can pull oh, the motors wow. out. This whole pod in its entirety well, how about that? actually pops out, too. So I got to imagine if you take a hard crash and this thing hits, the thing's gonna actually break apart on its uh, yeah. stress points and save the airframe. So I think that's really exceptional. They put a lot of energy, because uh, frankly, the first time I saw this, I was like, how's this thing even gonna fly? We just gotta make sure we put that motor back on before it I'll flies. remember. You remember? Oh yeah. It's a quad right now. Okay. It's it's a way too powerful quad. Oh really? Yeah, yeah I, we're, I'm flying at like one eighth throttle. It's just ridiculous. It's so weird. Like you don't know how to fly it. No, I know. Should we get Bixler flying this? <laughs> yeah. Hey Bix. <laughs> What's it doing? Oh, it's it up it's doing its own thing. Here, hold it. Okay, I want you to fly it hard. Pretty stable, isn't it? It is very stable. Do you want to fly forward? No. I'm gonna make you. No, don't do it. <laughs> hey, Chad, hold on. I want to show you something. Watch. There you go. That's how you That's land. Funny. I'm very nervous. No, if anyone's gonna crash, it should be me. <laughs> Okay, right now in in helicopter mode. Okay. Okay, go, go, going forward. There it goes. Ah, it's oh. horrible. Go pitchy. Don't hit anyone. I lost it already. It's four blades. Ah, it's horrible. <laughs> On the fly. It's horribly. It's quick, man. <laughs> no stupid thing. <laughs> <laughs> Which way is it? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> That's great. You nervous? You want to try it? It's trying to fly for you, so when you give it like rudder and elevator at the same time, it just freaks out. It's just like, man, it's just the weird transition. I could hit the switch as soon as I could. Man, we're still if trying you got to good figure at that out. It. Yeah. There's probably some Can use to it. We don't know. Probably it does on the ground. We can't uh, yeah. it, out. it does it on the ground. It's over. Oh, it's over. 
Right. I don't want to flip it down too hard. <laughs> it's so pitchy! It's, uh, <laughs> flip it over! I can't find it! <laughs> That's awesome! <laughs> what on earth are you doing, Chad? There. I'm just, I'm just trying to. Bam. Bam. I just tried some aerobatics. It doesn't move like you think it's no, gonna move. It, yeah, you're expecting okay, it to fly okay, like yeah. a plane. Right. But it's not flying like a plane. It's not flying like a helicopter. It's flying like something else. Like a monster? No, like a chocolate airplane made out of love. <laughs> Okay, he's not talking, it has to be hard. <laughs> well, my experience is, I'm peeing my pants right now. <laughs> yeah, isn't it? Hey, you're doing a knife edge. Go faster. How fast can it go? <laughs> How high can it fly? <laughs> can I try it? <laughs> this plane will go 100 miles an hour. Wow. Nice. That is sweet. You're making it look effortless. I know. Try the aerobatic mode. Oh yeah, yeah, there you go. What's wrong with you guys? <laughs> A lot. It's still in one piece. Yeah. I think the director <laughs> says so. <laughs> How is it? I don't aerobatic like it. mode. I'm going back into normal mode. Okay. <laughs> is it weird? Yeah. I don't even know what that is. Why is it blanking? <laughs> what, what was that? You wrecked it two inches from the ground. I was this close. Isn't it weird to fly? It makes your heart race. The acro mode wouldn't be bad outside, but yeah. indoors it was definitely better to have the stabilization. Oh, yeah, right? If you forget about rudder, don't try to mess with your rudder. It doesn't mess with your head nearly as much. Is it enjoyable to fly now? Yeah, fly like properly? I, I don't think we took it out of acro mode. Yeah. There's no way you can just like, you hit the rudder and you don't have to hit the hard. It's like, just fly to the pancake. A, a normal plane could never do that, you know? Yeah. And it drops, but then it catches itself to the, the gyro, so it's... It is plenty powerful. Yeah. It's actually nice. Actually, it's not... The first time I flew it, it was weird. Did you have to do any changes or anything? No, I have... i just getting used to it. Yeah. You're trying... You're expecting it to be something that it's not. That's cool. You can see something back. You can see on the pods where, which one are on the top or not. You can see the the bottom a wider has to, part. yeah has has a wider part. But the, yeah, that that rudder. <laughs> <laughs> Isn't that great? It's so awesome. That's so cool. A rudder turn. You don't have to do anything. No, it just if you do it too sharp, it just drops. It takes just a little bit to catch. <laughs> it's pretty cool you can transition if you want to go vertical. Yeah. All right, so you saw the video and uh, Dave and I actually were in full agreement in the beginning of this. We yes. did not like it. We were like, this is crazy. And then something changed. And it wasn't just the experience of flying in the gymnasium. 
No, it's actually mm. just flying it. Just you flying it. You get used to it, and it's yeah. awesome as long as you embrace the yes, the quality. And the one of thing it. that's unnatural is rudder on a wing is just crazy, and it's so sensitive because it's driven by the props. Here's the thing: the key to success is leave it alone. Just yeah, don't touch it. Don't touch it. And I'm sure there's a way we can dial down the uh, the rates on the rudder. But if you fly it bank and yank for your first time, and then work in your rudder later, you're gonna love it. And, you guys uh, look like twins. That's wow. it. <laughs> All, right. All right, David. Ready? Let's see if you get the thing in the air here. All right. Let's go. Now, on calm weather, especially, it is amazing. And uh, we all got to fly indoors. I wouldn't recommend this as an indoor airplane, but uh, Chad did make each one of us fly it indoors. And, we and it was our, horrible. It was scary. And we didn't know the key to success is actually when you transition, fly a bank and let yank. Scary. Well, so how do you transition? We just flip that little switch down. It automatically rotates for us. And it's not bad. You can see I'm only messing with the rudder, and it's great. Now this is in stabilization mode. You didn't mean rudder, you meant ailerons. Yeah. Don't touch the rudder. Don't touch the Don't. rudder. Just leave it alone until later. And Sounds I'm flying serious. virtually bank and yank, <laughs> and you can see I'm not flying all that fast. The stabilization mode keeps it where you can fly it pretty darn slow and really enjoy it. Let's just take it down nice and low for everybody. Look at that. See, that's not bad. What are you seeing, Josh Scott? The weirdest looking thing I've ever seen. <laughs> it's crazy looking. Thank God for those lights because it does help with orientation. Yeah. And it does have that uh, threading on the bottom where you can mount a uh, camera. Oh, that's yes. true. Yeah. Yes. Yes. But I, I don't know if that's useful or not. Yeah. I think it could carry it, but I think it's kind of a weird yeah. angle. Yeah. Now, one thing I'm going to do right now is I'm going to go ahead and pop it back into... Thanks. You don't have to panic too much with this thing. It'll transition on its own for you. And... Uh, we, we went ahead and went acro and aerobatic in previous footage. They already saw that, so I'm not going to worry about that because it's a little dark. But you can see with this light, look at those ailerons working to keep it nice and stable. Do you see that? They're fluttering. They're going nuts, yeah. but yet the, the outcome is, is very smooth. All right, let's put this down here and land it. It's a fun plane to fly. It is. You just need to get used to oh, it. And tip over. That's yeah. fine. <laughs> okay, Josh Scott, you want to try it? Yeah. Now, yeah. Now, the key to success, Josh, if you if you panic, just chop the throttle. It, it's very durable. Okay. But um, this has an immense amount of power. It'll just launch into the air. So, um, usually about a third throttle, the thing's going to be flying. All right, yeah, throttle back just a little bit there. Look at that. He's doing it. Nice. And back off that throttle just a little bit. There you go, Josh. Wow, doing circles already. With windy weather, it doesn't like to fly nice as a quad, does it? No, it has such a huge surface area, so when you're flying it into the wind, it just pushes it, and you keep yeah. on having pushing the stick in that direction, so Whoa, it's just so close. a little bit weird. Good job, man. Thanks, buddy. Now, now we constantly throwing Josh into the bus. We're like, here, fly this, fly this, fly this. I'm amazed the skills is constantly growing because this is not I anything. could barely fly it when yeah. I started out. It's just such a weird beast. And long story short, 350 bucks is the price for this is what, Mocha version? Yeah, the Mocha version. The Mocha version. I think it's worth every penny. There's nothing like it so far. And I think it's gonna inspire a lot of people to come up with this concept. And I look forward to seeing what they do when they combine quad slash flying whatever. Yeah. And uh, good job guys. And good job people who believed in this project on Kickstarter. And uh, it's cold out here. I think we should close. Absolutely. Thanks you guys for watching. Thanks Stone Tap. Stone Tap. Stone, Stone it's Cap. A new, it's, a new, it's a new company we're starting. <laughs> yeah. It's actually a tap dance studio. <laughs> Thanks Stone Cap Productions for sponsoring this episode. And go to our website. All that good stuff. You know the drill. We're freezing. Chat up on the forum. All right. See you later. See you later. Bye.